Backing up and restoring a SQL Server database is a pretty straightforward task. To start the backup process, you you use master. You make sure that you're uh, focused in on the master database. To back up a database, it's ba it's this command, back up the database, and in this case, CIAC. Back it up to a location on disk, a location that to the SQL Server instance looks like attached storage. So it can be just exactly that, uh, a local disk or a SAN. Good idea to use name and description. Fill them in with meaningful information so that if you have multiple backup files to choose from, you'll be able to make a, an intelligent decision on your restore. Go ahead and back up the database. And this is the, uh, the, the message that you should, should see on a successful backup. Restoring the database is almost as straightforward, but there's a few commands that you want to run ahead of time to ensure that the backup file is that you plan to use is restorable. Just because you took the backup doesn't mean that you can use that backup file. A restore file list only is a very quick way to get the logical and physical file names. Remember the logical name is the name by which the SQL Server knows the database file uh, for data and log and the physical name is the name are the names by which the Windows operating system knows the um, the database files. Restore header only is important because if the header record on the restore sorry on the backup file is corrupted then you can't use that backup to restore in this case it's perfectly fine and it also gives you the official server name and database name restore verify only is important to run in that it checks the entire backup file to ensure that the entire file is usable for a restore the longer it took to back it up that database up, the longer it's going to take to do a verify. To restore the database, in this case we're going to restore it to a new database. We are not going to restore CIAC over itself, as would be the case if something happened to the CIAC database. This case we're going to restore CIAC to something called CIAC test. So we're going to have to use the with move option with recovery, which means that as soon as the restore is finished, go ahead and the instruction to the SQL Server is make it available for use. The move, we're going to move the CIAC logical file to this physical location, which is different from what it was originally. And same for the log file. We're going to move it to a different physical a different physical name. So just go ahead and run the restore operation. It doesn't take very long. This is a tiny database. To test, use it. Good start. And let's just go ahead and do a select star from sysobjects or sys.objects so you can see the name of the tables in that restore database. There's a caveat. If you thought that you could do something like take your old SQL Server 2005 instance and repurpose it for test and development against your SQL Server 2008 production system, that's not going to work. The backups are not backwardly compatible, or rather I should say restoring backups is not a backwardly compatible operation. You cannot restore a 2008 backup to a 2005 instance of SQL Server, for instance. And that's it for now.